we go back then to the to the first album just before we move mm -hmm. on to that so you've got joe thomas in the, in the in studio working with you guys you know he's you know he, mm -hmm. he was a revelation when he came out with his albums i mean i was buying his albums because he was like wow you know hit after hit after hit don't want to be a player he was why do good, good girls it was almost like wow this guy's just almost a brush of fresh air and he's yeah. writing for you guys um mm -hmm. you're in the studio you know proper stuff and then but around motown i know chico um I, 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 as well but then uh, did you you know who else were you guys seeing in the meeting you know that you'd seen on tv oh. when you were still getting your album ready well uh erica brian mcknight because he was on motown at oh the yeah time. brian mcknight yeah Yep, Diana Ross, uh, Stevie Wonder, <laughs> Are you kidding Bobby me? Robinson. Yeah, like when when Kedar took over Motown, they had a party like two nights later, and I met Prince. <laughs> yeah, like the, the, Erica just had her baby, and she had her baby in there. Like it was wild. It was. <laughs> I was like, Stevie Wonder talked to me. I was like, this is amazing. Like, <laughs> I, I it felt like a dream. Like I wasn't expecting to meet these people, bro. Like. I just enjoy singing. You feel me? Like, yeah. I, don't, yeah. I didn't. I didn't think it was gonna take me that far. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think that was to my detriment though, because sometimes, like, you gotta feel like you belong in those rooms. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I felt like I didn't belong there. I felt like I was way out of place. Like, and they made me feel comfortable, but it was me. Like, I didn't believe in myself enough to yeah. feel like I was supposed to be around that greatness. You see what I'm saying? Like. And that, that, that took a toll on me after a while. In what way? Um, anytime you, like, not believing in yourself a lot of Some people call, ar call it arrogance when you have confidence in yourself. Then the yeah. unconfident people. But when you walk in your light, it does something for other people. Like, and when you dim your light because you feel like you're not good enough, you're doing a disservice to the world because mm -hmm. you made unique in your own self. You see what I'm saying? Like, and we do that to ourselves because of how we raised, what, what you're being told as a child, how you're being raised as a child. So whoever feel like they not enough, somebody telling them that. You don't just get that. And as a kid, if you're not feeding that kid positivity, they're going to feel like that when they go around people. They're going to see, like, they're going to feel like that's, that's too much for me. I don't like this person because they too confident. And it's not it's not that they too confident, it's just that you lack confidence. Yeah. And but that, 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 that makes you feel like you're shy. It, uh, it makes anxiety just flare up out of nowhere because yeah. you're scared to be around people. You see what I'm saying? Like, it does a lot to your psyche. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm full-time, I'm a mental health therapist. So yeah, I understand all of that. But it, what is strange because looking in, Americans, you know, black kids seem to have a lot of confidence, you know, almost like, you know, always, you know, talking, mouthing, yeah. So you, I, I would have been surprised the fact that you saying you're in a situation, you know, you're getting into trouble and all that stuff that you're like, I thought you'd be more confident in yourself, but then you, uh, you, you yeah. It was, it was a lack of confidence. It was like, I felt like I needed to be a clown to, to, for, to be approved of. I had to yeah. be loud. You see what I'm saying? Like, I had to make myself be known instead of just being myself. You see what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have to do none of that stuff. I don't have to do none of that stuff now, like, at all. Yeah, yeah. But back then, was there anyone who, because this is, and I think this is where you'd assume a manager or a guardian or so, a godfather, would, would pull you aside and say, dude, what are you doing, man? You need to, and try and, ground you and stuff was anyone around to, to pull out what you were doing and try and, and give you some straight no no it was, it was basically when i told i told him i had i was having problems i told the label i told my manager everybody like man you better suck that up yeah and at that point that's when i that's when i like that's when the group i was like i don't care no more Cause if you guys don't care about what's happening to me, I cannot stick with this, bro. Because yeah. I'm not gonna hurt myself. Like, yeah. And this was like around about the point my my, my uh, pops had passed and all that. And it's like, nah, nah. If y'all don't care about me, man, I'm not doing this. Yeah.